first day of Christmas. It's what I wore, miss. Yay! That's right. The entire month of December, every single week, my video on Thursday will be of what I wore. So this entire month, you're gonna just watch me get dressed. It's gonna be so much fun. You're gonna be in my closet peering out and see seven outfits every week for the whole month of December. This is the first week of Christmas, of December, and really I feel like I'm kind of in a just chill mode, kind of getting ready for Christmas, so my outfits probably aren't as maybe over the top as normal. It's Monday right now, I'm going to start getting dressed and keep it really casual. <laughs> casual and cozy and it's actually a little chilly here in California so whenever it's slightly chilly I put on a coat because I have so many of them. I am wearing the vintage tee that I picked up for my birthday. I'm wearing the 501s that I got at the Golden Years Market from La Faustine. You guys remember I got this coat this summer when I was in Palm Springs thrifting. You can go see that in my Joshua Tree vlog from this summer. And then this necklace my mother-in-law just gave me. It was her mom's and it's gorgeous and I've been wearing it every day. I love it. She gave it to me for my birthday. I have my Vans sneakers on. Those are my super comfy go-to shoes. And oh, this Cleo Bella bag. I love that it's a backpack. I love the star. I love the colors. I love everything about it. I've been wearing this pretty much every day for my go-to bag. From the bottom to the top. That's what I'm wearing for my first day of what I wore, miss. I'm excited. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good morning. It's Tuesday and you guys saw from my live, I've gotten so much stuff recently and in all of my Come Thrifting With Me collab videos, oh, I'm overwhelmed with so many new things. I am going today to try to work in one of my new items, at least one, and style up a look. Here we go. to wear pajamas today. I'm wearing those pajamas that I got on my birthday thrifting and just to kind of dress them up a little bit make them a little more appropriate to wear for the daytime I'm wearing this big cozy sweater that oh it's just so good. I accessorized with my little necklace, my big hoop earrings, red lips. Just carrying my Cleo Bella bag and I did these kind of sock boots that I have and I love the little silver on the back. Okay you guys I officially am actually not liking my boots, so I think I'm gonna change my boots to red. Let's see. Much better. I don't know, I just needed a little pop of color. So there, from the bottom to the top. Sometimes you just gotta make a little switcheroo to make the outfit work, and I'm feeling much better. I will see you guys tomorrow, bye. <laughs> It's Wednesday, it's hump day. It's getting close to December 1st, which for me actually means that the real decorating and the real Christmas starts to kick in. So I'm doing lots of little Christmas prep today. I'm gonna get dressed in something for my thrift and my vintage haul. And let's see what I come up with.
my favorite so far this week. All kind of creamy white neutral colors, wearing a lot of my recent finds. The Guess jeans that I just got when I was with Corey, wearing the gold shirt that you guys did not see me thrift that I did on my own, and then wearing this fabulous coat that I got when I was thrifting with Annette, wearing this little hat that I found at Crossroads recently, accessorizing with my fabulous little briefcase that I just got on my birthday vintage shopping spree, wearing my go-to snakeskin boots, which I love the pairing of the two snakeskins. And then let's just talk about this tie situation, which if you go back to Karen's channel, where did you get that? She did a whole like personal styling video and she talked about wearing ties. So I tied it around the neck like a scarf and then I did a little brooch to add something extra fun. From the bottom to the top. That is my Wednesday. I'm so excited about this look and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. It is Thursday. I've been thinking about berets recently. Of course, berets have kind of been in, I feel like this whole year, and I've worn them a few times, but I don't know, I just haven't totally jumped on the beret train, but then, I don't know, recently I'm really, really into them and really excited about them. So I wanna create an outfit kind of all around a beret. So I'm thinking kind of maybe menswear-y, but like with a beret. So we'll see what I come up with. Okay, here we go. I love how this turned out with my beret. Uh, yeah, so it started with the beret and then kind of went straight into wearing some party pants, some plaid high waist vintage pants. I really kind of have always been a turtleneck girl. I just love like a tight turtleneck top tucked into things. And because I wear so much high waist stuff, I feel like turtlenecks are kind of that perfect pairing to so many things. Let's talk about this coat. This is a military coat. I thrifted it, I think last year and i love it i love how structured it is and i don't know i love the pops of red today's actually the first day that i'm wearing it so it's so fun to pull out and actually make work in an outfit and it's chilly enough that i feel like i can pull it off and it's actually something i've challenged myself to is to start wearing all of my different outerwear because like i've said i have such a massive addiction to buying it that i need to start wearing it so if it's like below 60 degrees at some point during the day well, no, not even 60, like below 70 degrees at some point during the day here in California, I'm wearing a coat, unless it's like, I might not wear like a massive fur coat or something, but for the most part, I'm gonna just try to wear my outerwear. So there we go. I did my loafers and I put some little ankle socks on. I'm really into the sock look and I don't know, I just kind of liked the light cream with the black loafer and my bag from the bottom to the top. That is what I'm wearing on my Thursday. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> Guess what day it is? It's Friday. It's the best day of the week, honestly, in my opinion. It's the excitement of the weekend. And guess what? It's December, so it's the best. Every weekend in December is like another chance to do something fabulous and something fun and go to a party and play dress up and whatever. Anyways, it's actually later in the day and I'm going out tonight with some of my girlfriends. And so I'm doing girls night. And I was just on Instagram, Chelsea Von Mock. Uh, my friend and stylist in LA posted this picture. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a picture of Madonna. It inspired me to create an outfit kind of inspired by Madonna. So thinking high waist trousers, kind of a cropped jacket, which is kind of similar to something that I got and I think I showed in my live video. Go a little 80s crazy Madonna version. So girls night, here we come. <laughs>
Friday night out. I'm excited to wear this kind of Madonna inspired, kind of Western inspired, went with these high waist DKNY pants that I found thrifting. Um, this cool little, I love this bodysuit. I feel like just tight basics are such a thing that you should have and invest in. I got this at Crossroads and like a tight bodysuit, tight turtlenecks, lots of things to do with high waist items because I'm such a high waist girl, high waist pants, high waist skirts, all of it. So to me, I want like a tight turtleneck, tight tee, tight bodysuit. Good investment piece. Uh, got this amazing jacket on my birthday. Vintage shopping. Super fun. This cool bolo tie that I got in Palm Springs. Fabulous. Mixing metals. Earrings. Party earrings. I talked about in my live video that I'm really into handlebags right now. And so I got this one when I was thrifting in Palm Springs. I love the kind of mixed... Um, leathers to give it a really cool design. So my little handle bag and these pointy sock boots that I thrifted last year from the bottom to the top. That is my look for Friday. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Good morning. Opening the door. Good morning. Um, it's Saturday and today is all about Christmas preparation. So Christmas decorating, Christmas tree, hot chocolate, donuts, cozy, all of that. I'm going to keep it really casual today. I just want to kind of be, you know, festive and layered up and fun. We'll see what I come up with. Saturday look for you guys. It felt festive and cozy and perfect for Christmas tree decorating, hot chocolate, all that kind of stuff. Wearing a few of my favorite pieces right now, this hat. I picked this up at Crossroads and I honestly have been looking for the dream kind of mid wide brim hat that stuck out like this. Not too small, not too large. I have one, you know, similar and this was it. Thank you, Crossroads. Warby Parker, you guys saw me thrift this turtleneck with Jesse in our thrifting video at the Goodwill. I got this cozy sweater with like the fun, what are these, donkeys? Camels? What are these? Llamas? I don't know. I got this last year after Christmas, I think. And honestly, I think that is something you should always add to your thrift list is a cozy cardigan and often you can find a good one. This was a good one. Oh, y'all, y'all, these Wrangler jeans, they are doing it for me. Someone asked me on Instagram if they were thrifted or vintage. No, they're not. I'm going to link, hopefully, hopefully, link below, but they fit perfect. They're a high rise, which I love. They just are the perfect skinny jean. They're not long, they're not short. They're the perfect kind of crop. They look great with boots, and I am wearing my go-to snakeskin boots. You know, the Cleo Bella bag that I've been wearing all week as well. I just can't get away from it. I feel like the colors are just exactly what you want to wear all the time. It's like the neutral without it being neutral. From the bottom to the top. That is my Saturday and I'm excited to do some Christmasing right now. Bye! Good morning. It's Sunday. It's the last week of what I wore miss, but only week one. I don't know, I've been wanting to do the whole dress over pants thing again. I've, I've done that for sure, but I don't know. Recently, I've kind of got re-inspired to do it a new way.
so much fun creating this outfit. I feel like lately I have been putting less thought into what I'm wearing and actually just kind of throwing things together. Um, but I kind of think too, you have to have, <laughs> which is not the idea of living a minimalist life, but you kind of have to have a lot of different options around you to be able to do that. Not that a ton, but just like interesting pieces that just kind of create interesting outfits. So I really had no thought going into this. I just wanted to layer a dress over pants. Hadn't worn this floral dress yet. I just loved the ruffles on this dress and I felt like it kind of paired perfectly over my Levi's 501s. To layer it up even more, I did this lace button down and then um, threw on this big orange blazer that was another thrift find. Paired perfectly with my red boots. I love that it feels festive and brought out the pink and the reds. My Cleo Bello bag that I love. I also love that this hat is green on one side and black on the other and then it felt very kind of 80s and even pretty in pink a little bit and I felt like the sunglasses kind of went with that vibe as well. From the bottom to the top. That is Sunday for you guys. Well, that is it. That is my first What I Warmest. You guys love these and there will be so much more to come the entire month of December. And it is really fun to do it in December because I just feel like there's so many more occasions to get dressed for and fun things and the holidays bring out festivities and festive and color and white and snow. Not that we get it in California, but you know what I mean. <sighs> So, it also feels like a romantic time of year, and getting dressed always feels slightly romantic to me. Happy week! See you guys next week with another What I Warmest, and tune in on Instagram if you want to kind of see other outfits that don't show up in this, that kind of get worn in the in-between somehow, or more of the outfits that you will see in these videos. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel, and always stay dressed up! Bye!